I think people really love the authenticity of what Lexington has to offer. People expect more when they go out to eat, and so I think all restaurants in Lexington have raised their game. So far we haven't had a lot of uh, ethnic restaurants. We have some really great ones right now. Upon first glance, Lexington may seem like it has a lack of diversity. I think it's getting better and better every year. Um, we're starting to see more diversity in what we have to offer. Delving deeper into the origins of ethnic restaurants downtown, we uncover the culture and characteristics that add spice to the Lexington community. My name is Nick Tripodianos and I came from Greece back in 1967. My name is Adrian Gonzalez. I am from, we were born in British Guyana. Koi Pong. I, I'm original from Hong Kong from 1980. Experience the culture of Lexington by dining abroad. Well, the food that we serve here is uh, a little bit of everything. America, Italian a little bit, and mostly Greek. We have a set menu, we also do lunch specials, and then we do catering as well too. The type of food we're serving is for Chinese. Yeah, that's what we have in sushi. That's what we do here. All my family's in the restaurant business, and when I came from Greece, I get into the restaurant business, I got to like it, and I will continue until today and into tomorrow too. I followed my, my father into the restaurant business, so I was 16 years old, and I worked for him, and then I started my own business on 19... 95. This actually started to be simply for cakes and wedding cakes. Um, when this was started, there was no one serving breakfast in the city. You know, everybody had to go to eat at McDonald's or you know one of those places, or you know, to, to get to get breakfast. Um, and that's what he kind of linked on on. He started with that, and uh, you know, it led into st to serving lunch because people kept coming in, new students kept coming in later and later. <laughs> <laughs> right? And next thing you know, we're open until 5 p.m. in the evening. You know, the opportunity presented ourselves, and here we are. Moving away from your home country is a difficult choice, but everyone has their reason for chasing the American dream. 1980. Yeah, because my dad was here. When my dad was here, they want me and my wife and my, uh, my mom and my brother. You know, our part of family. But when the time we were so little, we don't have any decision, we just fought a mom. 1967, money, <laughs> the most important thing, money. I had better opportunities, which has been, they've been good to me. America has been really, really good to me. Well, we had the opportunity to either move here or move to Canada. Dad decided because of his friends and the people that he knew uh, here in the United States, it was best that we come to the United States. Plus, we hated the cold. Yeah, so we ended up in Miami. Moving to a new country is one thing. Adapting to a new culture is another. We make a lot of friends around here. And people, you know, come to my restaurant and hey, hoy, you know, just not very close. I mean, I'm very happy to see that. We always have a, like, group party on a weekend, but they really enjoyed it to come to the town. And they, we sometimes, I mean, we said, hey, you guys take a picture, and a lot of, Friend, they say, hey, take a picture for me, Hoy. I said, well, okay. And then we just keep to do it from the little and then grow up a lot of right now because we still keep, keep, I think, because I think the memory is good part of them for everybody's life. I think because every student here for four years, this is really important for you, I think. But I don't have a chance to college, so I think it's really important for the life for four years. So I think they stay in Lexington for during the four years. I think we at least have something there. Maybe one day they come back, they still see them picture here. And they bring their family or kid, hey, when I was studying here, I, I eating at home and take a, they still have my picture there. I think that's a wonderful thing, isn't it? I love it because it's uh, very similar to the culture that we have in Greece at the villages. Uh, people they're looking for each other, they're looking after each other, and they're very, they welcome me very well, and they adopt me into the community, and I appreciate it, and I owe them a lot. 
when I was little, I grew up in Hong Kong. But I remember that time, I mean, m my family, you know, living the space is like, just like one, like one bathroom size. Yeah, for three people. Yeah, that's why I like a lot of room. That's one of the reasons I want country. I would like to come into the country. It's a friendly place. It has amazing outdoor facilities. It has two colleges for a town of six or seven thousand. There's just no place to beat it, really. It has a genuine and authentic feel, which I think is great. Despite the welcoming atmosphere, business in Lexington can be tough. It's a challenge. Um, when I say it's a business challenge, it's a business challenge because you don't have the volume as you would in any larger city or larger town. So. You know, we tend to uh, we tend to be the city tend to be closed-minded to greater opportunities. We see the drop-off uh, in the dead of winter and, and then in the summer when Washington lays out of session. So um, I think that's a really significant part of the local restaurant economy um, is Washington and Lee in particular. Uh, VMI to some extent also. As a business, it is challenging to be in business here within the city. Um, the majority of the population that lives here, uh, that lives within the city limits, spend very little time downtown. Right, so what do we do, you know, the struggle that we have as a, as a business is how do we attract those individuals to come through the door. This last year was an extremely difficult year for anybody here in the city, very, very difficult. We lost three restaurants last year. Fortunately, these problems have not dampened the spirits of local ethnic business owners. We're going to own the block, dude. If John will let us buy the block, we'll buy the block. We would love to own the block. At the age that I am right now, I'm not looking for expanding, but I have my son, which is in the culinary school right now, and I'm teaching him the ropes, and I hope he will take over this and let him do the exp expanding. Keep going, like good, circulate, so I we just get more customers. So people feel happy with Tong, we just get more customers, so that's what we expect that, you know, hopefully. You get to see different people from different parts of the country. Uh, I talk to them, I play with them, I joke with them, and uh, I curse them, uh, they curse me back. <laughs> In a nice way, you know, in a nice way. And uh, they, I think they get to like me too, and uh, they encourage me to bark at them. It's just like, most like a friend, they come to my restaurant, you know, I'm not actually like a hey, customer, it's more like a friend thing. Yeah. We make a lot of friends around here, and people, you know, come to my restaurant, and just, hey, hoy, you know, just not very really close. I mean, I'm very really happy to see them. I, I've never had an issue with you guys, never, because I kind of view you guys as, number one, you're, you know, you're part of our market, that's number one, and then number two, I was a kid as well, I did some crazy things, I've gotten myself in major trouble a lot of times, you guys are good, I'm serious. They love Lexington just as much as Lexington loves them. I love sweet treats because it's hard in Lexington to find a place that's not super formal like Southern Inn or Bistro or just fast food like Taco Bell or Sheets. So this is like a really good intermediate sort of casual but still really good wholesome food. And like last week it was my birthday and my mom ordered a really awesome birthday cake from here. And I love Nico's. It's great um, mostly because I love Greek food and you wouldn't think you'd get good like ethnic cuisine down in Lexington but hey you can so that's awesome. Well, I've always liked Chinese buffets, and for the price of food that uh, he's giving, it's very good food. Um, also, I've never seen a Chinese buffet that has sushi. Mr. Tong is one of the friendliest guys that I know. Um, he really tries to know all of his customers by name. Um, he knows I love the uh, sushi on the buffet table, so every time I come, he uh, immediately goes over to the sushi table and starts making me uh, 10, 15 uh, salmon sushi and just delivers it right to my uh, right to my table. So like I really do enjoy my job. That's why I'm telling my employee. I said, well, I, I really do stay here at work. I hope I can stay here until you know when I retire. You know, I you know that's what I hope. Well, I welcome you all of you people from the colleges. 
and local people to come to see me and come and and feel take your tie off sit down and have be comfortable and enjoy the food and uh, I like to talk to everybody and I like to welcome everybody and everybody knows me by my barking so <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was my recognition. Everybody recognized me that way. <laughs> Coming to the town, we love you. If I say anything wrong, just cut it off. You're doing great. <laughs>